Guys, this stock has given 84% return in just one year from 1st July 2020 to 30th June 2021. One hint, this stock belongs to Tata Group. So, can you guess the name of this stock? When we look at the overview of the stock, the stock belongs to iron and steel industry. It is a small cap having a market cap of Rs. 2,275 crores. Stock is 2.85 times volatile as Nifty. The PE ratio of the stock is just similar to sector PE, while PB ratio is slightly lower than the sector PB. Dividend yield of the stock is 0.92%, little bit less than the sector dividend yield. So, for those who couldn't guess it, the name of the stock is Tin Plate Company of India Limited. Now, on 30th June 2021, stock closed at a price of 217.40. According to ticker tape, the current price of the stock is less than the intrinsic value. It has given better returns than the FD. Stock offers good dividend returns. It is good time to enter in a stock as it is not in overbought zone and there are no red flags. Now, what does the company do? Company produces tin packaging material. Where is this tin packaging material used? It is used in the containers of edible oils, containers of paints and pesticides, processed foods. Battery jackets are literally the jackets which people wear to avoid, to prevent themselves from cold weather. They are electronic jackets which consist of tin inside them. Aerosols are like the spray paints, their containers are made of tin. Bottle crowns like the soft drink bottles, glass bottles which have cap made up of tin. It is also used in other places. Now some products of the company are like their TFS sheets which is again used to manufacture bottle crowns. ETP coils and sheets are used to make containers of oil and ghee also started diversifying product mix before it used to manufacture only simple and plain tin packaging material but now it has started making packaging material of custom dimensions and also packaging material consists of various designs and painted ones now if we have a snapshot of the company then the vision and the mission of the company says that the company wants to be a leader in the packaging industry and also it wants to focus more on green packaging which is environment friendly packaging now company is the first domestic tin plate producer of india it has 100 years of experience it was established in 1920 and in 2020 it completed 100 years 74.96 percentage of the ownership is with tata steel it is a subsidiary of tata steel now, out of their total business, 60% is of prime tin plate. They have 40% share in the domestic market. 17% of the produce is exported. They have one manufacturing unit which is in Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. The total capacity is 3,79,000 metric ton per annum. All the products are 100% recyclable. Now, 7% downstream product, which I just mentioned, they have started producing custom dimensions packaging material for special companies on their demand. They have 20 export destination and 15% of the revenue comes from export. Also guys, if you are coming to this channel for the first time, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. When we look at the overview of this company about its product and the way it is operating its business, we might say that we have a positive outlook for the future. Having a look at the financial performance till FY20, EBITDA was at 176 crores, profit before tax at 104 crores, profit after tax at 95 crores. Now guys, if you will notice that Abit of the stock didn't increase by a huge amount, but profit after tax has increased a lot. And the reason for this increase is 
cheaper raw materials now remember guys this information is of fy20 at this year the metal prices were not so high as a result company was able to increase its profit even when there was not a huge increase in its revenue also the eps of this share has been improving year by year and it has reached to rupees 9 in fy20 if we have a look at the key financial ratios then interest coverage ratio has improved in fy20 even the operating profit margin and net profit margin ratios have improved and debtors turnover ratio has reduced while inventory turnover ratio has improved and even the current ratio looks better in fy20 having a look at yearly income statement then total revenue is increasing while net income is also increasing every year important part which i mentioned earlier is eps is increasing and improving year by year when we look at income statement on quarterly basis now this green right bar here on the right displays the growth in march 21 quarter as compared to previous quarter which was december 2020 we will see everything is in green this means there is growth in every aspect be it total revenue ebitda net income or eps now having a look at the balance sheet then total assets of the company are increasing year by year and also in the previous two year that which is FY 2019-2020, company has tried to reduce little bit of its total liabilities, which is again a very positive sign. When we have a look at the cash flow statement, there is nothing unusual. Just company has reduced its free cash flow in FY 20, so which is a minor drawback. so now looking at all the major financial indicators we can say the future outlook for the company is quite positive now the shareholding pattern of the company there are a very low pledged promoter holding the total promoter holding is around 75 percentage mutual funds and domestic institutions does not have any holding in this company while fii have very less holding and remaining holding is with retail and other parties having a look at shareholding history other domestic institutions have reduced their holding in the previous quarters fii have very little holding but they have reduced it from the past while retail and other parties have constantly maintained their holdings so looking at the shareholding pattern and history we can say it does not give us any strong indication on the either side so we are neutral for the future outlook here now guys this is the chart of tin plate company on a weekly time frame now we can say that there is a support for the stock at around let's say the level of 163 while currently stock is around 270 earlier this level of 163 was acting as resistance for the stock and stock tried to cross this resistance one two and three times and finally it was able to cross this resistance in the month of january and after that it has also acted as the support for the stock now if we look at a stock on a daily time frame we can say that stock is also taking support from this level which is around 200 rupees while this level is acting as the supply zone for the stock so if the stock has to move upwards it has to cross this level and this supply zone which is around 232 rupees also if you are already invested in this stock you can continue being invested 
and if someone is looking for a new entry they should wait for the stock to come at this level of 200 also guys all time high of the stock is around 325 rupees and looking at the metal sector rally in this year we can say even those levels are very much achievable so let's hope for the best so this was all from this video guys if you found the content in this video useful then please like the video and subscribe to this youtube channel thank you